Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. John Legaretta and in today's video I'm discussing a crucial procedure for certain types of glaucoma. It's called laser peripheral iridotomy or LPI for short. This treatment can be instrumental in preventing acute angle closure glaucoma, helping maintain healthy vision for those at risk. Before I explore the specifics of the LPI procedure, it's important to understand narrow angle glaucoma and angle closure glaucoma. These are types of glaucoma where the angle between the iris and the cornea, which has a drainage system called the trabecular meshwork, is located and is crucial for draining fluid from the eye and this area can become narrow or reduced. This can slow down the fluid drainage and gradually increase the eye pressure, leading to narrow angle glaucoma. If for some reason the angle closes completely and suddenly, it can result in acute angle closure glaucoma where the eye pressure can rise very rapidly and cause significant vision loss if not addressed immediately. Early recognition and treatment are key to preserving sight in these conditions. So, what is a laser peripheral iridotomy? A laser peripheral iridotomy, the LPI for short, is a preventative and therapeutic procedure designed specifically to treat and prevent angle closure glaucoma. It involves using a laser to create a small hole in the colored part of the eye called the iris. This hole acts as a new channel for fluid flow through the eye, helping to maintain normal eye pressure and hopefully prevent blockages that can lead to angle closure. So why is the LPI performed? An LPI is performed to prevent the sudden and dangerous increase in eye pressure associated with angle closure glaucoma. This condition can be quite serious, presenting with several different symptoms, such as severe eye pain, nausea, red eye, and blurred vision. Patients who are high risk for this type of glaucoma or those who have already experienced angle closure may be rec recommended to have an LPI to prevent future episodes and protect their vision. The LPI procedure is relatively straightforward. The procedure is quick and generally only takes a few minutes. It's performed on an outpatient basis and typically in a doctor's office. To start, eye drops are used to constrict your pupil, make them very small, and also numb the eye, ensuring some comfort throughout the procedure. Using a laser, the doctor will then create a small opening in the peripheral part of the iris, far enough away from the center to avoid any complications affecting your vision. Post-procedure, you'll be monitored briefly to check for any immediate complications and you'll receive medications, typically eye drops, to help manage any inflammation from the laser procedure. The primary benefit of an LPI is the ability to prevent acute attacks of angle closure glaucoma and preserve your vision in the long term. While the procedure is generally safe, it does carry some small risks such as minor inflammation, a temporary increase in eye pressure, or even light sensitivity. However, these risks are very minimal compared to severe consequences of untreated angle closure glaucoma. Post-procedural care is crucial. Keep your follow-up appointments with your doctor to ensure that the iridotomy remains effective and open and that your eye pressure remains stable. Some patients may experience minor discomfort or even temporary blurry vision after the laser, but these symptoms typically resolve quickly. Severe complications from the laser procedure are very rare. In conclusion, if you are at high risk for angle closure glaucoma or experiencing symptoms, discussing this laser peripheral iridotomy LPI procedure with your eye care professional is really an important first step. This preventative measure could significantly impact your eye health and vision preservation for the long term. Thank you for tuning in to today's video on LPI procedure. If you found this information helpful, please share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Also, I want you to take a look at the video here to learn more about narrow angle glaucoma. If you have any questions or experiences with LPI, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm here to help. See you in the next video. And remember, to keep an eye on your eye health.